Hello everyone, LZ1 ABC here. I want to show you my antenna switch made by LZ1 AQ. Uh, it allows me to use my SDR and my transceiver with one antenna. And this is the antenna. It's uh, this is my antenna for 20 meters. Has only one. It uh, has one radio. And uh, with this switch. I can uh, listen at the same time with my SDR radio and with my transceiver and when the transceiver goes uh, transmitting the SDR is disconnected from the antenna so that it uh, won't uh, burn. Uh, the switch is made out of two modules, one is the antenna switch module and the, un the other one is called audio switch module. Mm. The audio switch is controlling the antenna switch and the transceiver is controlling the audio switch module. Let me show you first the antenna switch module. There are a few plugs here. One is for the antenna, the other one is for the transceiver. This is RX, is uh, uh, for the SDR and control coming from the audio switch. Control coming from the audio switch is also, it's, uh, as you can see, when we disconnect it, the antenna switch is in uh, transmit mode, so it's safe. If you don't connect, uh, if you forget to connect your antenna switch to the audio switch, you don't have to worry because it's in transmit mode. So it means that the SDR is disconnected from the common antenna. Uh, the audio switch is controlled uh, from the transceiver, a pin, which is uh, grounded when the transceiver is transmitting. I can demonstrate to you, so if I disconnect now the cable, there is also protection that the SDR switch is in transmit mode, so it's again safe. This protection is using the ground actually when the cable is disconnected the ground is this is missing the switch is going into into transmit mode that's why it's important your uh, audio switch and transceiver to have a common ground through this uh, through the power here when you connect your uh, audio switch you have to make sure that uh, the grounds, they have common ground, the transceiver, I'm, I'm actually using the same power supply, so of course I have common ground. If you don't have common ground, uh, your, your switch will be always in transmit mode. Okay, let me plug the cable back. Okay, okay so let's see from close the, how the audio switch looks like, we have the power, we have the control from the transceiver, this is going to the antenna switch, uh, this uh, plug here allows you to plug a normal uh, switch SPST which uh, allows you to switch between uh, transceiver and SDR during re uh, receiving. By default, when uh, you don't have a switch here plugged in, it is uh, by default you're listening to the SDR audio when receiving. Here you have to plug your SDR audio, here you have to plug your uh, transceiver or TRX audio, and this is the output which you are listening to. And let me show you, I'll go on transmit now and you'll see how the LEDs will go off. This means that we are in transmit mode. You can see that the green light is uh, coming on with a delay. Uh, this is uh, the green light is signaling the uh, when the audio from the SDR is switched back on, and it's coming with a delay. And this delay is controlled from this uh, potentiometer. I can demonstrate to you why this is needed. As you can see, once we go back to uh, receive, you can still hear the side tone from the. SDR which is uh, coming with a bit of delay because the SDR has a delay itself the audio from the SDR is with a delay I can show you I've made a small scheme here uh, this here is the signal from the TRX we are receiving here transmitting and then again receiving and as you can see the SDR audio is with around 200 millisecond delay that's why we want uh, to switch back to 
SDR audio with uh, the same delay of 200 milliseconds and even a bit more so that we don't hear this side tone as we do wait sorry my as you can see so I have to increase the delay more okay like this we we don't hear now the, the side tone from the SDR so this is uh, quite important this delay you have to regulate it according your uh, delay according to the delay of your SDR because the delays are different for each SDR and depending on what DSP filtering you're using it can be anywhere from 100 to 500 milliseconds even more okay so I'm using here the HDSDR program uh, now I'm on transmit mode and even if I'm on transmit mode you can see that uh, there is still some signal going into the SDR uh, the insulation is not perfect yes it's around minus 60 dBi and uh, I'm transmitting with 10 watts currently so with uh, 100 watts will be around minus 50 okay what else uh, I can show you here the antenna switch is uh, shielded in a following way you can see here how it's done the TRX is always connected to the antenna and the, um, the SDR is disconnected uh, from the antenna with the help of this uh, relay there is also some protection here uh, in case the relay malfunctions the protection will uh, keep your SDR from burning okay now uh, that's about it. Uh, what can I say more? Thank you very much and uh, 73 from LZ1ABC. Bye-bye.